In today's video I'll be talking about some rules that in my opinion you should stick to during this colder period of the year we call fall. Uh, sure, it's not the end of the world if you break some of them, but if you really want to look and dress better this fall, then I hope you will implement one or two or maybe all of them into your life. I want nothing else for you guys but to help you look your best. So if you're into more elegant classic style of dressing, this video is for you. Okay, so let's start from the very beginning. Learn how to layer the right way. Layering is one of the most important ways to conquer fall weather and to maintain an equitable body temperature. So learn how to do it properly. The most important rule is to layer from the chunkiest to the thinnest fabric, keeping the lighter items closest to your skin. You also need to keep in mind the setting you'll be attending. What if you are sitting in your office and realize uh, that it's too warm when you just sat down? Uh, what uh, if you decide to take your jacket off uh, and now you look underdressed? This fall you should start mastering the art of layering. The most important rule of layering is if you aren't comfortable wearing that layer on its own, then you should probably not wear it at all. Exceptions of course uh, can be made if you are 100% sure that you know that you won't be taking an outer layer off, making this unwanted piece visible. And there's one more thing guys. As a general rule, the hem of your outer layers of clothing should conceal the hem of your inner layers. Uh, sure, you can spot some uh, men with a uh, dress shirt sticking out from under uh, the sweater, but that doesn't look that good. So remember about that. Rule number two, stop wearing clothes that don't fit you anymore. Um, as you rummage through your older pieces, remember to only bring them back if they fit and are in a good shape. If you've lost or gained weight over the summer or hopefully some muscle, it's important to step back and avoid any clothes that don't fit you perfectly anymore. Sticking to items that aren't flattering anymore is one of the full fashion mistakes you should avoid at any cost. Even when your clothes are in a good shape but don't fit you anymore, simply you shouldn't wear it. And I know that you might think that this piece of clothing doesn't look too bad on you. But remember, if you do think that it doesn't look too bad, it also doesn't look too good. Remember that you don't want to look not bad, you want to look great anytime you can. So be honest with yourself, take your stuff out of your closet, take a look, uh, try some pieces on and decide what goes and what stays. And maybe some pieces can be tailored and that's great, but guys, please do not be afraid of saying no to pieces that do not fit you perfectly. Rule number three, do not forget about your leather jacket this fall. It doesn't matter whether you're going to the office or to a party. A leather jacket is always a smart choice. It gives you a cool and remarkable appearance without even trying. Also, it gives you this manly, bad boyish appearance, this bad boyish vibe, which, let's be honest, women love. The main benefit is that they can easily fit with almost everything you have. As long as colors match, you're gonna look great. If you want to make your appearance bolder, then you should definitely get a leather jacket. When it comes to leather jacket, you can choose one of the design or styles that is gonna suit your personality and body type. Remember that you should always dress the way that is going to suit your body type to look the best way possible. But you can also ask what if I can't afford a good leather jacket because they are pricey. The good fall leather jacket is as fashionable as the real one, so you can go ahead and buy one. Just keep in mind that faux leather jacket won't be as durable as the real one. You can also uh, buy a used leather jacket if it's in a good shape. Rule number four, don't wear black shoes all the time. Um, I know it's faux, but that doesn't mean you have to wear only black shoes uh, all the time. Uh, most men think that black goes with everything, but that is simply not true. Uh, same goes for black shoes. This season try some lighter colors like brown or even white. I know it's travesty, but trust me when I tell you that white shoes are completely fine and there is nothing wrong with you when you wear them during fall. Sure, you will have to take care of them because rainy and uh, muddy weather is not the best match when it comes to white shoes, but at least you won't be like 99% of other men around. 
I mean, do not get me wrong, black shoes are alright and I do have a pair or two ready, but I simply do not wear them all the time. And to be completely honest guys, if I had to choose only one pair of shoes to wear during fall, I would choose brown combat shoes. They can be dressed up or down, they are very versatile and a great choice for a rainy weather. And the last rule, keep your ankles invisible. Uh, a man's ankle is disputed territory. I mean, if you find your leg hair and knobby bones attractive, I won't judge you. But I think most of the people would agree it's not your best feature to show off. I genuinely think that the bare ankle trend with uh, cuff jeans has overstayed its welcome, especially during colder months. While I could understand and understand is a quite a stretch here, some benefits of cuff jeans during warmer months, I can't stand behind it during fall. It's noticeably colder, so you will actually be doing yourself a favor wearing something to cover your ankles like boots or even jeans that do not look like borrowed from a younger brother. Just think about it. And that's it guys. Um, I really do hope that these rules are gonna help you dress better this fall. If you have any other rules you would like to share, just leave a comment down below. And as always, do not forget to leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.